Dover is a town which is normally associated with World War II history as it played a prominent role in the defence of Britain. The whole area is littered with pillboxes and batteries scattered all around Dover. Many of the pillboxes are intact, however some unfortunately are damaged and some destroyed. In this four part special, we'll be exploring Dover and both its Napoleonic and World War II heritage, as well as any other modern abandoned sites we find along the way. Okay, we're back at Western Heights and we've located some abandoned World War II buildings in the surrounding areas. So we're gonna go down, go around, see what we can find, check everything out. found the entrance to an old tunnel which led us under the hill, some kind of tunnel complex maybe, but there's been quite a lot of erosion and quite a lot of the earth from above has fallen down and blocked up the entrance, so there's no way we can go into that unless we had shovels maybe. Oh my god, oh god, oh god. Sizer. Gabe, <laughs> be careful <laughs> taking your camera equipment up here. It <sighs> might slip. Hold on to the trees. I can't, I've got a camera. <laughs> There's a building up there, Ed. What's that? Okay, we're currently standing inside the St. Martin's Batteries, which consists of three of these buildings, all identical, in a row. All the way from here, this is the fur furthest left one, and you just go down that way to reach the rest. As we can see, each battery consists of a large central uh, platform with this arrangement in the middle. Now this is a gun mount, this is where they would have mounted a big gun, which could swivel from this side all the way over here, with a large, large area it could cover. So each gun would have been pointing towards the harbour, which at this time was very valuable assets to England, so they wanted to protect it. And these guns would maybe have fired maybe out like a mile out to sea, perhaps with their range. But all that's left now are these little metal poles in the ground, which would have been the foundation to keep it here. If someone comes, tell me and I'll run up there and shank them. It's fine. Yeah, I have no choice. It's like... I'll get on top if you want me to.
Okay, we went around the back of the battery and we found this. This is a shell store which is used to hold the ammunition for the guns which would have been positioned covering the docks just up above our heads over there. I mean, this is not a gun thing actually, like one on the other side, exactly the same. Yeah. So we've come down the hill and we've just found another, I think it's another gun battery, I, almost identical to the one over that direction, which I think will be in our first video. So it's been partially destroyed and parts of it are falling down. I don't think there are any tunnels underneath this one, but we're just going to go in and have a look. Oh, look at that one. Oh, yeah, it's because Stalag's... Oh, that's a sick one. That's because Stalag's yeah, clean tight to the ceiling. Them, don't break them. Don't I don't them. want to break them, but... Okay, I'm going to stop the recording. I'm going to climb on the roof for a second. I wonder if there are Stalag mites. No, they're no, just they No, there wouldn't be Stalag mites, no. All right, I'm going to go outside and put my bag down and climb on top. Whoa, that one's huge. But when you go on top, stay at the front, because you don't want it to collapse. Those people are up there somewhere. I don't know where they no actually are. not to go in the cave. No. Asbestos spill. It was sick in there though. I know, hang on. Uh, it's <gasps> <a bit> <laughs> Way around there. Oh, yeah. I walk around to the entrance. Find this glass up here. Mm. Really, we were there and we didn't notice this. <laughs> There's steps leading up to it as well. We must be stinking. What the hell is this? I mean, remember, Lewis, I didn't see you when you were like right in my face and I was looking for you. So. Oh yeah, uh, everyone, get your torch out again. Jump down. This this must be one of the ones I saw. Maybe it's not. Oh my god. <sighs> Oh, whoa, hold on. What? There's like bed rags there. We look around the corner and if there's a hobo gun. Then don't stab me, please. <laughs> no, no, it's all cool, never mind. Not much in there. I want to have a look, though. Go on, put, put the torch back. Toast. Yeah, Spectacular. 